What's going on guys? Welcome back to the TCG Empire YouTube channel. Today we are going over what to buy Wednesday and this is where we're going to go over just some cards that are doing well within the format and see exactly where they're priced and if you should buy them due to the decks doing well and if you should wait or go ahead and buy them now before the prices go up even more. Now this past weekend at the Core TCG Treasure Cup the winning deck was Red Luffy so if you're looking to pick up some cards for Red Luffy, that's mainly what we're going to talk about today. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy, it's the starter deck leader. If you want to pick up a copy, it's about $1.50 with shipping. As I always say, try to buy cards from the same shop. That way you only have to pay shipping ones. But looking at it, the prices stayed relatively the same. So you're looking to spend probably about $1.50 if you wanted to order it by yourself. But if you throw other cards in, then it's only going to be $0.44. Cents. Now, this card is paired with the uh, SR Monkey D. Luffy. This one has the 5 drop, 6,000 power, rush, and if there's 2 Dawn on it, cannot activate blockers. So, looking at this card about a month ago, it was $20. It's all the way down to $9, so I would highly suggest getting these now. Especially considering that the list that just won the Treasure Cup does run 4 and if you are looking to pick up a playset, the reason I say do it now is because with more treasure cups happening and more regionals, the only thing that's going to happen is if this does well again, it's probably going to be up to a $20 card again. Now, looking at the average, it started out at 13, then it went all the way up to 23. Now it's back down to eight. So even if you get these now and they go up to around $15, you're still saving money compared to buying a playset later on. So... The next card that we're going to talk about is the Rush Zoro 3 drop 5000 power. This card in the market has been fluctuating like crazy and looking at it, it is up right now. So if you have some good for you, if you don't, I would highly recommend waiting to buy them. As we can see right here, this price at around $22, $23 is usually the drop off. I mean, we can see that. Back on April 17th, $22, and it dropped, went all the way back up to $22, then dropped. Now, it's only saving a couple dollars, but when you're buying a playset, that money adds up. So I would definitely wait a few days to get some, because in the next few days, it should be dropping some more. And looking at the three months, it has been going up and down and up and down consecutively. So I would recommend buying them uh, later on, just because... Although the deck is good and the card is amazing, as we see in the one month it has been fluctuating so there's no reason to wait and buy them now. It's better to wait and buy them later. And the next card we're going to look at is Edward Newgate. This card is being played in Whitebeard as well as being played in things like Zoro as well as Luffy. And looking at the price for it, it's about a steady $8, $9 card. It has gone down quite a bit from what it was a month ago a month ago it was $13 now it's all the way down to eight looking at this it's probably safe to buy them now I don't see a world in which they keep going up especially considering with the three month scale it's doing been doing nothing except going down so if you're looking to pick up white beards you can really pick them up at any point but if you're thinking about buying them now I would highly recommend it next card Makino now this is just a uncommon it's going to be in the under the dollar range, but just looking at it now, um, I would recommend getting your playset now just because with red being dominant in the format, the last thing you want is for this card to go up to a dollar and then you have to pay four dollars for a playset as opposed to around three dollars for a playset. Now, again, it is only a dollar, but when you're trying to buy cards and multiple of them, some areas is better to save money. So if you're wanting to pick up Machinos, definitely I would do it now. As far as Mass Deuce, Mass Deuce was ran as a 4 of in the past weekend for the Luffy winning deck. And the price did have a high skyrocket. Now, quote unquote, skyrocket. It had a price increase um, over the past week. I mean, it went from 11 cents up to 14 cents, which, I mean, that's, that's nothing. But considering the price of the card now, I would recommend getting your playset just because... With random rares and random uncommons, I mean, like Nami, for instance, Nami is a rare that's uh, over a dollar. And so the last thing you want is to not get them when they're cheap and have to spend upwards of five dollars with shipping here. You can just spend about a 
dollar and I'm gonna say 19 cents for a playset versus paying almost five if it went up to a dollar. So with the Paramount War cards, I would highly recommend getting these. Now, some of the next cards we're gonna talk about aren't red exclusive. They're more deck potential exclusive. So that card being Kuzon. Kuzon was a $48 card and even upwards of $70 when it first released. It did have quite a few drops, but in the one month, it has dropped down significantly. A lightly played is $29.98. And so they're upwards of $29.99. Now, the reason I would suggest getting them now is because with Kuzon, it is a four of in every black deck, depending on the variant that you're playing, but most of the time you're wanting to play four. And so buying them at this price just means that you're gonna secure a good deal. Now, the other reason I say that is because this past weekend at the Treasure Cup, Smoker also did place top eight. So considering that the deck is doing well, people might wanna play it more and thus start buying the cards more and then the demand will be low or the demand will be high supply will be low so the prices will go up more so i would suggest picking up a playset or a couple if you're thinking about getting them because worst case scenario they go down a little bit but i don't see them falling under 25 dollars and the last card i want to talk about is ace now ace is a card that is being ran in whitebeard um looking at the three month it was all the way up to a 30 dollar card and it's just tanked from there but it is a very playable card as when you play it, give two characters minus 3,000. And if you have a Whitebeard Pirate as your leader, you can actually gain Rush. So looking at it, it has dropped significantly compared to what it was, again, as I said, when it first released. It's down in the $1.53 range. And if you're wanting to pick up a playset, this store has three of them for a dollar and 13 cents each so that's about four dollars for three cards which isn't bad considering it's an sr that is played of a between two and four of in white beard depending on the list you're playing so i would highly recommend picking these cards up now looking at the market everything is doing well there's nothing that's really too expensive except for zoro zoro is fluctuating up and down but zoro is played in almost every deck that runs a red engine besides the Whitebeard list is played in Law, it's played in Zoro, and it's played in Luffy. So being in those decks, it's going to be more demanded. So looking at this, I would recommend, you know, taking a look, figuring out what you can budget. But when it comes down to it, the market isn't that bad right now. So if you're looking to pick up cards for decks, especially with tournaments coming up, it's probably better to buy them before the tournament rather than after just so that way you don't have to deal with price spikes from the decks doing well and people wanting to buy the cards for the particular deck so thank you guys so much for watching today's video remember if you did enjoy it subscribe turn on post notifications again every wednesday we'll be going over the particular deck of the week's cards and talking about them as well as looking at some other cards from paramount war and so when the next set comes out, we'll do the same exact thing. But overall, again, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.